I think one of the important things is for your wallet not to be uh, kind of limiting itself in uh, what it does. I mean, that's what we found because we offer it to such a range of customers. Um, basically, our wallet, as well as being multi-currency, also allows you to have your loyalty points added from any transactions that you do at the point of sale, but also any offers that you, the retailer might be might be offering to their customers might get attached to it. Now these offers are not money or points, they are specific offers that get triggered when you buy a specific product. So they're kind of like little mini vouchers or digital vouchers inside. This was very important for us really early on when we started. Uh, we went into a lot of uh, trouble in the sense of trouble being a lot of effort and um, going over a lot of obstacles trying to get as much integrations at the, at the low level as we could because we didn't want our wallet to be playing in only a limited range of retailers. So in order to give it the best kind of uh, chances, uh, we went down to the ground, made a lot of partnerships with local partners in every country, and uh, we built a very big um, infrastructure that connects a lot of uh, retail stores, cafes, restaurants, hospitality, um, all together, bring them through our um, these pipelines that we have, so that the different wallets from different retailers, if they want to, they can play together. So we could um, allow them to uh, exchange points between each other or exchange currency. I think one of the important things is um, always not to limit your customer. For your wallet not to be just another one app on b between another hundreds of apps, I think it needs to offer some kind of features that for each jurisdiction might be different. So in the UK, it might be that um, people are using their wallets to pay their credit cards, uh, their credit card bills or something like that. And then the, uh, the fantastic feature that a wallet would have is that it tells you when your credit card is not the best deal and there are other credit cards out there which are better deals, right? So that's kind of like some intelligence comes into that kind of wallet. In another jurisdiction, like in uh, Africa, uh, it's important for the wallets now to give the uh, the person that is using it access to a, a broader banking uh, style products that they never had before. Those kind of things would be um, like micro loans, something that they would borrow money, a small amount for um, just a period of one day to 30 days. Um, and of course in, in, in places like in the Muslim world, charity is very big, so it's important that through their wallet they could say that I want so much amount to go to charity every, every month or every week. Um, a digital wallet um, can also be uh, a physical, what we used to uh, experience as physical uh, gift cards, for example. A lot of our customers are using uh, our digital wallets to create what, what used to be these gift cards in the past, and they are basically online accounts. They just have uh, a physical card to represent it. So you can support, so you can give this um, very nice experience to the customer where they come into the shop, and if they're a high value customer, uh, you get to have an area where you can sit them down. Uh, their digital wallet comes with a nice little booklet with maybe some other uh, gift presents inside and maybe they will have a gold card that they can have they can use or they can give to their wife or whatever it's linked to the same uh, account let's say and um, they they also get kind of the setup done for them so if they a lot of if they, if it's a customer that's spending uh, five thousand dollars 
a month using this uh, this wallet you can sit down with them and help them set it up and also walk them through it and give them all the features and that, that gives them very good confidence uh, in terms of the security and everything so now they start using their wallet and, and they feel that they're getting something very specific and also you you point out that this is a very uh, VIP service and nobody else in the store gets this The differences between um, the Western world and maybe uh, Africa and the Middle East is that in, in the Western world we have had for years things like price comparisons, many different credit cards, loans uh, available to us. So in that sense, we are, because we are a society where we are time poor, I think the wallets in, in our region will be going towards the personal finance assistant route and a lot of AI is going to come into it analyzing every month automatically for you how you're spending your money in grocery how you're spending your money um, on your credit card or whatever and it will uh, suggest to you initially people will be getting it as suggestions but eventually they will just click a switch and say just let it do uh, the best for me because they won't even have time to look at the suggestions so it will very much become like a your personal finance assistant your digital wallet